no-brainer. <laughs> Uh, just getting ready to do a little spraying today as I was uh, rinsing out the sprayer look what showed up whole lot of tile uh, I'm not sure how much they're bringing today but I figured I'd just show you guys while I was here all this is gonna be going out in dad's uh, 37 acres here around the shop there's their tile plow right there this field's already got some tile in it but there's still some wet spots out there so we're gonna go ahead and pattern tile the rest of it so I thought I'd just show you guys that. Uh, like I said, I'm rinsing out the sprayer. We had some matador in there to spray beans um, pre-emerge, and then I'm gonna go get some 32% so we can spray for some corn ground. Uh, I'll have to take that to the co-op and rinse it out. But right now I'm waiting on the rinse tanks of the sprayer to fill. I'm about a third of the way done, so I'll show you guys how that works. Okay, so here we are at the sprayer. And I don't know how well you guys can see, but that black plastic right there with that sight glass, that hose going up, is the fresh water tanks that are on the sprayer. They hold like 112 gallon, I think. And I already did one rinse last night after I got done spraying. So, I'm using two hoses, because we don't have very big water here, to fill those up. And what we do to rinse this, Turn off your main sump valve up, turn on your rinse valve, and open up your rinse tanks. And then from here, while the sprayer is running, we can control the pump that normally pumps the product through the booms. We turn this on, turn the pump on, throttle up and down, and that will pump it from the rinse tanks into the main tank. And we'd have to do that three times, let it slosh around a little bit, and then spray it out or you can drain it, but we spray it out <coughs> on something that's not planted. I'm gonna go across the road and spray it out over there. Some unplanted uh, corn, or it's gonna go into beans. So normally, for this rinse, we would just go get a load of fresh water from our fertilizer place, the co-op, but I'm gonna go there, rinse out the tanker, and get some 32, so I can't carry fresh water and 32 on that. So. This takes quite a while, but saves having to drive there and back. It's about 15 minutes one way, so. Okay, so I've already done two rinses. Um, so what you do here, turn this valve up, turn this valve up, turn this valve up, flip this switch up, turn your pump on, wait for it. There it goes. And throttle up. filling the product tank with fresh water to get everything rinsed out. This will be the last uh, rinse. I'll take this back to the shop and hop in the tanker and go get some uh, 32. As you guys can see, going nice and slow, going six mile an hour. And you can tell that it's fresh water because you can hardly see it coming out of the boom. Um, the chemical we were spraying was nice and white so you could see it. So, get my last rinse done here on this on work ground. And We'll be off. Okay guys, a little update on what uh, we're doing with the sprayer. We have been, I'm sure you saw in a, earlier on, we've been spraying uh, some pre-emergence uh, herbicide residual on our soybeans, Matador. But now we've switched over, we're spraying 32% uh, urea, which is a uh, fertilizer for corn. What you do there is you, uh, you spray the field before you uh, work it and then and you work that fertilizer in and incorporate it to the soil. Uh, so that's what we're got going on today, and we've got to go a little slower. As you can see, right there, we're only doing about 10 miles an hour. It's because normal herbicides is about 8 pounds per gallon, but uh, 32 is just over 11 pounds per gallon. So it's a little thicker, you got to go a little slower, make sure your rates where it needs to be. Right now we're doing uh, 23 and a half gallons per acre at about 50 PSI. So, and what 32% is, is it's just uh, 
per gallon, you have 32% of the actual uh, ammonia, urea ammonium nitrate product. So that's what that means. They make 28, 32, obviously with 32 you get more per gallon. So uh, that's what we got going on for today. Let's see if I can't give you guys a little idea what I'm looking at here and I'm watching. Right here is my gallons per acre gauge. And I'm doing 23.5. Right here is my boom pressure around into mid to lower 50s. There's my tank, current tank level. And my little GPS guidance screen. Uh, 135 acres I was in spraying 32% uh, we got uh, caught in the rain but we got a little 14 acre piece on the other side of the road left so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it done I got my uh, thing one and thing two my servants for me. <laughs> it's raining <laughs> uh, whenever you go home just go down the road slow to get the mud off okay and while I'm waiting for the, my uh, manservants to <laughs> fill me up, a little uh, more detail what we got going for this nitrogen. So what we're applying now is about the equivalent of 80 pounds per acre of nitrogen pre-plant. And then we'll come back post-plant when the corn's up, you know, anywhere from a couple inches to knee-high and side dress it with another 130-ish pounds, make a total of 210 uh, pounds of a nitrogen per acre total at the end of the season. So 
so that's kind of uh, what we got going, just thought I'd let you guys know, in case you're curious. Okay guys, uh, I'm on my way home now. Got it done, it was starting to get pretty tacky, but it'll be all right. So that'll be it for today, for spraying and probably tomorrow. Today's, I think today's Friday, all my days run together. So this might be it for the weekend, but uh, we're making pretty good progress. Upward and onward. What's going on everybody? Uh, today we're gonna do a bit more spraying. It's a little bit windy, but uh, it's better than what it was earlier. Hey, the door's already open for me. How about that? Um, it's better than it was earlier. And it's getting a little late. We need to stay caught up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this done. And uh, I'll take you guys along for the ride. Well, before I take off, I need to get myself a refreshment. <laughs> Shout out to Meg, she really hooked us up. We got about everything under the sun. We even got some sparkling lemonade. My wife actually brought this to the field for me the other day. So, I've got my choice of refreshments here, then I'll take off, take the sprayer to the field. My wife's gonna pick me up at the field. Then uh, I gotta go to Nutrient Ag Solutions to get a load of 32 is what we're spraying today. 32 with a little bit of atrazine, so. Crazy. Don't know if you guys get to see that. There's a bald eagle eating on a dead deer in the ditch. Pretty sweet. There's been more and more of those bald eagles showing up around here in the past few years, it seems like. Sorry, I think the camera turned on on time. Taxi.
is this field is 112 acres we came in and worked it the other day because it was uh, pretty weedy it was unworked bean stubble from last fall uh, it got too wet last fall we we're unable to get it worked that's why it's so weedy so we worked it once Gonna put it down this 32. Kind of dad's gonna show up here in a little bit, come back in and work it again to, to kill the rest of the weeds and we'll make sure that the 32 gets um, worked into the ground. And we're expecting uh, rain tomorrow night, so that will be nice to get this all saturated in the soil. So, everything is working out pretty good for the circumstances that we have, um, given the poor fall we had last year as far as uh, tillage conditions. Hey, you guys can see that green over there. That is all wheat. There's about 70 acres of it over there. A uh, good friend of ours, fellow farmer, farms that. And he contacted us this past spring and asked to see if we'd be interested in cutting it. We've cut some wheat for him before. So we'll most likely do that as long as uh, everything uh, goes out as it should. So. We will definitely be making a video on that, so uh, if you guys are interested in how uh, cutting wheat goes, keep your eyes open for that video, and make sure you uh, subscribe, that way you know when the video goes live on our channel. My favorite part of the day again, my wife Josh dropped it off. I know you guys can't see him, but dad just pulled in, he's uh, worked his way up, he's up in that corner now, and I'll see if I can't get some footage of him as he goes by. Well, look who decided to show up today. Hello, YouTube world. Well, she dropped my supper off to me, and then, oh, where, where are you at? <laughs> she dropped my supper off to Dad and I here at the field, and then she went and dropped the supper off to Jonathan, and then she came back and decided to ride with me this first time riding the sprayer, so she likes it, but she says she's not going to ride it all the time, so. Oh, well. You don't want to run it? No, I'll pass. I think so. Okay, maybe we'll get you in the green cart this fall. Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't have time to train you last uh, year. I'm still bitter about that. <laughs> well, we've got 77.86 acres done of this 112, so we just about got her wrapped up. This is uh, Kashay and I's first farming season being married. We got married about nine months ago in June. So, almost nine months. Ten months. Kayla, Kayla, Tanner, for sure he is. Oh, so is it ten months? Yeah. Eleven months? Yeah. I, I don't even. I'm losing track already. It's been less than a year. So, uh, what do you think of being married to a farmer? I think it's pretty epic. We get to be outside all day and uh, long days, but it's fun. Lots of fun. You can deal with me being gone for a couple months in the spring and a few months in the fall. I believe so. But you like to help, so we I get like you out there. Yes, and I enjoy being outside. So you think you'll be able to handle it for the next however many years? 500 years, sure. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm headed back now. I got the 112 acres done, no problems. Uh, I got the sprayer rinsed because uh, tomorrow we're going to be spraying some corn stalks going into beans, so we're going to be spraying some matador. So I wanted to make sure I got the atrazine rinse out of this. It's not a huge deal to the beans, some other stuff, but I um, went ahead and rinsed 100 gallons through it. So I'm gonna take this to the shop, uh, come back, pick up the tanker, take it down there, and we'll be ready to go for tomorrow. See you guys then.